Alright, so we're uh, at least trying to get the pitless adapter installed this weekend. Um, so, pitless adapter uh, keeps our water line below the frost level since we're up here at 7,000 feet. We've got to keep it down so that it doesn't freeze and break. Um, so, well pump will be down there, comes up. I'll show you the, the pitless adapter here in a minute, but uh, I got to be 24 inches below grade. Um, so we got in here, dug a little hole, and actually right there, it's 24 inches. So I should be able to just dig a little bit out right here. Should be good to go. Alright, so this is the pitless adapter. This piece goes inside. Um, this allows the, uh, the, the pipe to come through the casing. So you can see that will connect to our down pipe going down to the well pump. And this will be inside of the casing. That slides in, there's a little o-ring. That's what seals it all together. Um, just allows water to uh, travel through the through the casing um, so we got down here all the way down to actually where the well, well company put the well seal um, so we're going to make sure that we got enough room should be good should be able to just poke a hole right there and uh, then we're going to use a hole saw to uh, drill the hole here for uh, this guy to slide through. Alright, so you can see the water coming out. That's because after, um, after we drilled our well, uh, we found out that it was artesian. Um, so there's literally water coming out of the top of it. So we're going to uh, let that guy drain down a little bit. I may have destroyed that drill, but let's see if we can just finish it. <laughs> Probably not the right drill for this job, but it's okay. There it goes, down to the bottom. And pretty sure that drill's destroyed. Um, I don't know, drill started smoking pretty good. Pretty sure I probably ruined or shortened the life of that guy. Uh, but you can see, two inch hole, just a hole saw. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll just check real quick, make sure this guy slides through. Two inches was pretty close when I checked it against the hole saw. Yep, there you go. So now we've got to cut this, uh, the casing pipe uh, down here. Um, 
and then I will get this guy down, put through there, install the nuts and the seals, tighten it down, keep this guy outside of the well because this is what we're going to connect to our downpipe. Uh, and then when we drop the pump in, that'll be on the end. Pump will go all the way down through the through the internal casing. Um, and then once we get it all the way down, this guy will slide right in, lock in, create a watertight seal, and then our water will be below the frost line when it's pumping out. All right, so I uh, couldn't find my saws off. Um, came up with the plan of using a hole saw to just start cutting holes in it. Actually, that worked really good. Um, not super easy, but it worked. And with the help of my wife, uh, we were able to get it and here it comes out. And of course the hole saw is stuck in that last little bit. But you can see where we just kind of went around and built some holes. So there we go. Got it out. Okay, so now that we got uh, the hole drill through the casing and the internal casing cut off where it needs to be, we got the pitless adapter. This is how it's going to go into the hole. On the outside is the gasket, the little flange, and then the nut that you tighten down on it. So this is uh, how I'm going to put it in. I'm going to install it on the T slide it down, push it through, get the gasket on, and we should be good to go. Um, can I sit down in, in the... I want to go inside the house and play a game. So you can see I've got the barb adapter on here because uh, I want to make sure that I don't have to make any adjustments to the casing down here, make sure I don't have to cut it down any farther. Here's my big o-ring for the inside and I'm just going to slide it down here. Get that right in, put it right there. Lean that right there. Okay, so external gasket goes on. And we've got the flange piece. how the, the flange has a saddle for the form fits to the pipe and there it is it's installed um, we can make sure that everything is straight up and down right there everything looks good it's inside of the casing now I'll uh, just tighten that guy down and uh, we'll pull it out. All right, so that's installed nice and tight. Now I can pull this up. There's the inside piece. And uh, we'll get the uh, well pump ready to go, get it all connected. This will be on the end. We'll feed the well pump down in. And uh, then when we're done, get it, slide it right in, and we'll be done. 
All right, so we got the pitless adapter in. You can see it down there. I put a check valve on there um, backwards so that the water would rise and I can get the rest of those uh, shavings out of there. Since our well's artesian, that makes it kind of nice. It comes up to the top and I should be able to just scoop those out. Um, we built the adapters. I put together the other side of the pitless with the barbed side. Um, and then here's my uh, nipple to check valve to barbed uh, adapter that I need going into the pump. Um, use some of this, uh, uh, the, the sealing paste instead of using the tape, instead of using the Teflon tape. Um, rolled out the down pipe. Uh, we bought a couple of uh, 300 foot rolls of it. Uh, our well is 500 foot deep, uh, but they were only able to case it down to like four nine or 390 or something uh, because there was a quartz layer that collapsed. We still get production from below. It's just they were only able to get the casing down that far. Um, it is kind of a cool perspective. I'm just going to take the time to walk this whole thing. Uh, unrolling this thing is a huge pain in the butt, but we start here up at the well. And go all the way up and around past the mine shaft way up here up the creek beautiful right now fall is here um, all the way past the rock that we've been working on hopefully we'll get that finished up here in the next couple weeks um, There's the mine shaft right there that we're trying to get to, see if we can make that somewhat usable. All the way to here. So that's 300 feet of uh, inch and a quarter roll. I think it's HDPE pipe. Um, kind of crazy how far that actually is when you get it rolled out and get a perspective on it. You know, it's just been this two foot tall, eight inch diameter pipe sticking out of the ground for the last year. Um, so kind of kind of crazy to start seeing how far it goes into the ground, putting some perspective on it. And you can hear I'm out of breath because the altitude sucks up here, but uh, is what it is all right so next time we get up here we should be able to uh install the pump um got all the electrical stuff up here got a lot of that stuff uh kind of ready so that it doesn't take too long um just wanted to get this pipe rolled out i probably should have done it a couple months ago so that uh it was a little warmer it's been about 55 all day up here um, but uh, we'll let this stuff kind of relax get a little heat in it hopefully if the sun will come out the next week or so um, we'll get up here put everything together and stick this pump in the ground so uh, stay tuned for part two